hello and welcome to this video. Uh, this video is to show you how to export your Facebook groups to PDF so that you can manage them more easily and so that you can leverage the time of an assistant to index those. You might need to track all your group activity and make sure that you are contributing to the various different groups you're in, um, but there's a lot of other spin-off activities you can do from doing this. And um, so here are a few steps to ensure that you export correctly without needing to share access to your Facebook and so that you can get all the information. So let's get started. You come to your normal F icon and then scroll down to Groups. If you can't see that, the URL is here, facebook.com slash groups. You can usually predict the URL actually to all the, to all the sections of Facebook um, or you can just Google it. So also you need to make sure you've clicked on the groups part, not the discover part. And the pending invitations obviously isn't the groups you're a member of, these are ones you've been invited to. Favourites is just a chunk of those that you need. And then you need to come to your groups, but we're not going to export this straight away. We're going to make sure we can view all of them. And that is by scrolling down. As you can see, I've joined so many. I need to start to really clear these up. And I'm just going to keep scrolling down. This is the key that I wanted to share with you, really, because we can be so quick to, to convert to PDF and not even notice that we haven't got them all here. So what I'm going to do is put these into Trello and categorise them into different categories, you know, local business, um, forever living health and nutrition business, um, languages, so I'm not only really commenting as I'm going, um, languages, business, food and nutrition, cooking, all that kind of stuff, because there's way too much here. But once I've really had a look at which ones are what, then I can really start to work on them and decide if it's worth staying a member or not because once you remember it's easier to to do to do stuff and you don't want to leave a group unnecessarily wow there is still still more right we've now come to the end so there are some interesting that have been archived interesting and now we've got all of them okay so now we can do control p for print um, your computer should have an export PDF function in it. If not, Google how to export a web page to PDF using and put the name of your web browser in there. So how to export Safari web pages to PDF Mac or to PDF PC. PC. So you've got exactly the right information that you need. And watch a few videos on YouTube, type the same thing into YouTube if you're not sure. Different computers, different versions have different things. So, but I'm sure you'll be able to find it from there. If not, um, hopefully your computer's already got this option of PDF. And when you come to do the print option, you can print and save as PDF. And we just want to check in the preview here that we have got all the different sections. So that should be my favourites, I think. You can just print a few pages if you want, but I find this is really easy to give to a virtual assistant because they can click on the links really well. Um, and this is the archived one. So there is a bit missing as the page crops, which is a big shame. It's this one here. Um, we can't do much about that. All we can do is just basically um, come back at the end and just check the overlapped ones. Okay, and we'll just have to make a note of the names of those just as, a, as an additional note, screenshot those instead or something, and the VA will have to just Google those, um, search for those. If we maybe take off the headers and footers, will that make a difference? It does slightly, doesn't it? But we've still got the missing bit, but perhaps we can do two versions, do one with the headers and footers and one without, so then they're definitely there that might be our option that covers all of them. So save to PDF. And I've called them my face groups August 2017, just rewriting the old one I had because this doesn't actually save it. Um, the one I had before, I, I didn't click the more button, which is why I'm making you this video. Uh, so, click the file to open. 
and we see what we saw on the Facebook page. Pending invitations, favourites, groups I manage, my groups, so we're starting here, this is what I'd have them do. So luckily, the first page has worked with a hyperlink, you've got the top of the bottom of the picture to, to check, but you can still see the link, and then from there, um, they should be able to click the link, and that will take us to that page. So they can still access the name and the hyperlink, although that isn't the correct hyperlink, we need to shorten it. Um, for example, if you want to share that page with others. Coming back to the PDF now, so we're going to check page three. Everything's visible. Page three, yep, the links work because they are. Sorry about the noise, guys. So I'm in, I'm in a hotel and the windows are open. Zip curls. There's all sorts of groups I just figured I'd join because they popped up and there were. When you join one group, you get suggestions of new ones. But it's really better to just focus on a few really good groups. Okay, looks like we're good. Yeah, because that one is the bottom of this one. Right. So we do have something missing while this search bar comes here. So the one underneath SBK Dance Mallorca is missing because we can't quite see but the hyperlink works there with the post let's check those two or just one so it does still take us there so they need we need to double check that they will copy and enter that one uh, oh sorry an archive groups so that has worked guys and that concludes my video on how to export your groups to PDF I'll be making further videos so have a look search for these titles um, what to put in the group details, uh, how to archive or how to index Facebook groups into Trello um, so you can find a bit more information about that and how to get the proper URL of the files. I think it's always really good if you give really clear trainings to your BAs so they can literally do it without any confusion and the smaller the video the more you can make and the more quickly they can find the piece of information that they need and if something changes you can just re-record that particular part Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.